Hi, I'm Rashawn McDonald. Welcome to Rashawn's Kitchen. Today I'm making coconut macaroons, coconut macaroons with a little chocolate on top. Okay, I already got everything. Everything's prepped. That's the key to being a good baker. Prep everything, lay everything out. I already got my pan spray. I'm gonna hit this pan with it. It's gonna go in the oven at 325 degrees. Got my salt already laid out. Why crack eggs when you can go to the store and get your egg whites? I need a quarter cup of egg whites right here. I use this full can of sweetened condensed milk. It's really cool to use this instead of sugar. You'll see in a minute. Then all of a sudden I got my vanilla extract. Everything's ready to go, let's go. Like I said, I'm gonna use this full bag. Just take a pair of scissors, cut it, put the full bag in here. That's it, full bag. Lay that over there. I've already pre-measured a quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract. We're gonna put that right on top. Like I already told you, a full can of sweetened condensed milk, full can. Keep it everything. Just move that top right there. I'm gonna put this right down up in there. Got my little. I'm gonna try to get everything out. Everything out. Like I said, some people use sugar. I love. I'm a big fan of this. It makes for. You know, come out perfect. It was taste exactly like the ones you get in a bakery when you're walking around. I want something. Take this spoon, and the famous word is fold. Don't stir. Fold. Use this spoon to fold everything. Fold it. That was a word I learned in baking. Because I'm going to stir. Everybody knows how to stir. But fold is like taking it from the bottom, bringing it over the top. Taking it from the bottom, bringing it over the top. Taking it from the bottom, putting it over the top. Once we get everything, make sure everything is put together nicely. We're going to set this over here. This is my egg whites that I talked about earlier. One quarter cup of egg white. I'm going to take this hand mixer. I got my KitchenAid right here, but it's such a small amount that a hand mixer works a lot better. I'm going to try to talk over it, but it's kind of noisy. So if you can't hear me really well, well I'm turning everything out. It's looking good. It's coming along nicely. I'm going to throw some salt in there. Real nice. Feel like I'm at a construction site. Hey, looking good over there. Don't fall. We're almost there. I think I'm gonna drop some salt in here. Put a little salt in there. We'll go back to work. everything real time. So as you see, it's easy. And you shouldn't be confused by the process. A lot of times they edit a lot of things on TV and go, what happened? But if you do it real time, you can see it's not that hard and you should be able to do it at home. This should be stiff enough. And what I'm going to do, set it right there. Going to take this. We're going to put this in the mix, and we're going to fold this, the egg white, into the mix. Nothing difficult yet. You're going, okay, this is what I get in the bakery. Is this easy to make? Yes, it is. Basically, we are done. Once I fold this in here, I'm going to get my ice cream scoop, and we're going to put it in the pan. And people love these. They go nuts. It's one of my all-time favorite. I go in the store and I see it, I go, I walk by, I go, I gotta give you one. So now once I figured out how to make it and I realized how easy it was to make, I'm just folding, I'm not stirring, I'm folding. I wanna make sure everything is nicely mixed. Get everything out. Take your time. Have fun, because the, the hard part's done. Put this down right here. <clears throat> now, a lot of people just put them on parchment paper. 
and then put them on a pan. I like to use this because it gives me a nice little shape. And you'll see when I pull them out of the baker, out of, excuse me, out of the oven, exactly what I mean. Just hit this real good with my favorite pan. So it won't stick. I may not fill up every one of these, but I like to spray everything just in case. And then I go like this. Just like this. It's that easy. Just scoop it in. These are little. It's very simple. It's based on how big you want them to be. It's on your decision. I try to fill up the pan, keep them all in there, get as many as you want. Like I said, when they, when you, they, they're going to have like a muffin type shape when they come out, which I really like. That's why I've chosen this particular method instead of putting them on parchment paper. Go back there and feel something that I saw. It. I saw something needed to go in there. Don't think I didn't see it. I know you was about to jump through the TV. Oh, he, he left that one out. No, I saw it just like you saw it. Okay. Coming down the home stretch. <clears throat> Let's check the oven. Everything's good to go there. With that other set at 325 degrees. I think I'm about ready to go. Just get everything. All of, I'm going to leave all that goodness and see all that goodness go by and scrape it all up. But that could be a one last fantastic coconut macaroon. Like I said, it's based on just going through shape and everything, making sure it all looks good when it comes out. That was a big one right there. Just going through just shape and everything, making sure everything looks good. Before I drop this bad boy in the oven. Share a little bit over this one right here. Share a little bit. This is like here, a little pretty gigantor. I'm ready to go. I'm gonna take this, put that over here. I'm a really neat guy about my kitchen. I'm gonna take this, set it at 325 degrees, put this in the oven. Five minutes later, keep an eye on it. I'm gonna set my timer, bake time. Minutes start in 25 minutes. We'll be pulling some great coconut macaroons out of the oven. Don't go nowhere, I'll be pulling them out in 25 minutes because we're gonna squeeze that time down. It's gonna look just like that. Hi, I'm Rashawn McDonald. Welcome back to Rashawn's Kitchen. Coconut macaroons are ready to come out of the oven. Then we're gonna go to the next step of putting a little chocolate on top. But first, I gotta pull them out the oven. They look good. Wow, beautiful, nice and brown. So you're gonna cool down. I always like to move a little bit faster. You can do it, but not that hot. Take them right there, put them on top. Put them all out, real neat. It's a nice little muffin type look. That's why I don't like that look. Put them all right there. Don't look at me like I'm, ooh, is that hot? It's not really. I'm burning my fingers. Put them on top of this rack, they're gonna cool down real nice. I'm a big fan of stuff that's beautifully warm. Look at that. So you could, like I said, you could put it on parchment paper, but like I said, I like to put it in these little mini cupcake pans. They come out real cute, like little cupcakes. I like that look. Really good. Really nice. 
You know, these are not that sweet. People love them. As you can see how easy they were to make. Didn't take that long. They look fantastic in the store. They're not that hard to make. Really, really cool. Now, you take this. It's the, a lot of times they tell you to melt, to melt chocolate. Let's go and get this little chocolate sundae. That's really cute, little syrup. Like I said, it's upside down. Let me put it right for you. Just go like that. Put a little chocolate on top. Really cool, really fast. Next, I'm not gonna put all of it, because like, a lot of people don't like chocolate. But this is really cool, and how you can make chocolate macaroons. Cool, real fast. Only for Sean's Kitchen. Thank you, coconut macaroons. Ooh, I gotta have one. Thank you. Mmm, fantastic. I love pastries when they're warm.